balling with. Uh, hold on, you picked the Falcons, bro. Did not pick the Falcons. I put it down that you picked the Falcons. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> you bet the Falcons are gonna did, beat did the I Washington, bro. <laughs> Do you have a score prediction? For what? This game? Saints and Falcons? I mean, Saints and no, Washington? No, 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 no. For the, for the Falcons game. We got to start keeping track. Um, I don't think I had a score prediction for that game, but we can make one for the Saints and Washington. I probably, I probably would pick the Falcons because we look so god-awful against the Bills. Yeah. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. All right, now we definitely in, in my, We barely won against the Falcons, if that. Man, I'm going to just put the team name and put whoever. I'm going to write it down. Next time, so it'll be easy for me to just keep track. But, and that's just how I write into it. Uh, like you said, Thursday night looks interesting. Tomorrow, L.A. versus uh, Seattle. Rams is minus two and a half, bro. Um, it's going to be a good game. Like I said, uh, it's going to be a mismatch between or the flip-flop, vice versa of that division games. Um, but I do have Rams winning this one. They're not gonna lose two in a row. Um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Rams, easy. <laughs> Rams, okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're okay. not gonna. They, they they just lost. They just lost to um what the Cardinals. So the short yeah. week, they're gonna come back, refocus, get a quick crack at it. Yeah. They're not, they're not losing two in a row. That's what I was saying. It's a Super Bowl thing right there. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have right in. Well, this is Sunday night. I don't know why they got it at the top. Sunday night, we can start with uh, Buffalo and Chiefs. That looks like the game of the week, honestly. Um, and I'm going to stay on the Buffalo bandwagon. Well, not bandwagon, but they've been pretty hot. Um, I think they're going to beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs have been a little bit iffy this past couple of weeks in the first beginning part of the season. So, And, you know, with the rematch from last season. I agree. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at it hard. I, it's hard for me to pick against the Chiefs three games in well not three games in a row but go to one in three yeah. in, a, in three That's, three yeah. games or one in two in three games but I'm gonna agree with you Buffalo like we talked about um, earlier two shutouts this past season great defense right. going so far um, yeah they're gonna win that game I'm picking Buffalo and rematch revenge game yeah revenge. <laughs> um, you think the Jets keep their high hopes? It looked like uh, the game is actually nine thirty and I believe it's in London. Since it's at nine thirty, London game, yeah. England game. It's been a while since we did those. Will the Jets keep rolling against the Falcons? I think Zach Wilson looked pretty good. Falcons can't get much worse, but they <laughs> they they look decent against us. I think that'll be the battle of not good teams. Yeah, that's but right. I actually see the Jets continuing their momentum, so I'm gonna pick the Jets. Okay, I was also saying I feel like London always gets the sucky team, bro. They never get like the good, a good matchup like the prime time games that America gets. But um, I got Falcons. Uh, they almost beat us. Just got lucky. Um, I don't know what happened. They they do got that momentum though. But I feel like Atlanta needs to pick it up because they are in the same boat. They don't want to get another L either. But at minus three, I, I don't know. Who knows with this minus three. Uh, and we did talk about Washington and the Saints. Uh, the Saints are actually minus two. They was one and a half when I did the uh, sports betting video a couple last or a couple yesterday, I believe. Um, so and then I said in that if they go to minus two or Washington go to two plus two, I would bet Washington. So and that's me. You saying? I'm gonna put the money, put the yeah. money dog, money on Washington. Got to. I gotta win that, and I think it's gonna go over forty four as well. Oh, yeah, 44. Or 45, total. 45, technically 44 and a half. Yeah, I'm going to say that, too, because the last two games, well, Washington's had high-scoring games so basically all season. Yeah. I got Washington winning as well, um, and I do agree it'll go over 44 and a half. Yep. Um, hop over to Packers and Green Bay. I mean, Packers and Bengals. Um, Cincinnati, and uh, they're plus three. Um, I do think it's going to be a close game, um, but I do think Green Bay should win by three points. But this, I feel like, is a game that everyone will probably pick Green Bay to win. But um, by the spread, I don't know if it's going to – that's like last week, everyone bet the Titans versus Jets. But I feel like this is too good of a matchup to, you know, it could go either way, honestly. I'm going to go Green Bay, though. Green Bay. 
and Bengals. Yep. Mm. Joe Burrow, we just talked about him earlier. Does does the, the reality check set in this week? Does it? Um is it is it home? Who's home? Who's away? Uh, bottom team is home, so uh Cincinnati. Bottom team is home, so Cincinnati's home. Yeah. You know what? You picked the Packers. I'm gonna go with Cincy. I, I actually think that they as a team are a surprise team. I'm gonna keep riding the Cincinnati bandwagon bandwagon and Joe Burrow and uh go Tigers. I guess that's what they say. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Bengals, Tigers, the same thing. Let's hop over to the other um, you know, male feline, the Lions. Detroit, they are 0-4, I believe, versus Minnesota. Um, Dalvin Cook, I think, is kind of questionable again. Um, I do think it's going to be a closer game. I would say Lions plus 9. I don't know if they're going to win, though. But don't, don't uh, you know... Don't give up on them, I, I believe. I think Lions could pull it off, but it's going to be a tough matchup. But I do think Vikings will win. But don't, um, I was just, don't, you know, I wouldn't bet against them either. I agree with you. I think the Vikings win. Kirk Cousins has been actually quietly putting up MVP quarterback numbers this season. Mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen, dogs. They do the gritty in the end zone all day. Yeah. I'm going say it's the battle of the cold cities. Yeah. Detroit. The only thing they got going for them is the BMF TV show that has just came out. Yeah. Um, Big Meech, Black Black Mafia Family. You should probably watch I, it. I don't I know if you watch it. I'm just, I gotta get into it. But uh, yeah, so that's all the Detroit got to win for. But uh, Minnesota, they they're gonna get that W. Minnesota gonna take it away from them. I I do agree as well. Um, this Broncos and Steelers game is gonna be close. Um, Drew Locke, I don't know if he'll be able to hold his own. Versus Steelers, but I do think it's going to be a close game. I don't know if it's going to. It might go over 40. Definitely might go be lower score than that. It just depends what offense will be able to sit better perform. And I will go Broncos. I'm not going to lie. I will go Broncos. Broncos, Steelers, yeah, Broncos. Steelers, they look trash. They're going to continue to look pretty bad. Uh, I'll say they come four losses straight. Denver, they're going to bounce back. Um... Drew Locke, he can do what he does. He's not terrible. That's a great defense. Uh, they'll be fine. Yeah, the spread is really close too. It's going to be a close game. They call it for in the books. Uh, let's hop down to below Eagles and Panthers. It's going to be a nice one. I think so. <laughs> Who you got? I got the Panthers. Um, oh, yeah. They're going to bounce back against <laughs> like they did against the Cowboys. Um, we'll see. They just got Stephon Gilmore. He's probably not going to play because he's on the pup list. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the Panthers are going to be the Eagles. Jalen Hurts, I think that defense is going to get to him. The Panthers' defense is one of the number one, number two or three ranked defense in the NFL right now. So, I got they the are, Panthers. They are definitely nice. Um, I think Eagles going to hold their own, though. And I do think Eagles will pull off this dub somehow. If they can hold... Sam Darnold to some Russian touchdowns, to no Russian touchdowns, I believe um, they have a chance right there. Um, that's going to be one of my other up. I like underdogs, bro. I see it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I got Jalen Hurts doing a good game, man. I feel like he want to he gonna play it hard against the, one of the better defenses right now and get that dub. But if they are away, so they will have to definitely pull a lot out of their, their feathers. Um, All right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see about that one. Um, Titans and Jaguars. It'd be a pretty quick one. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. I think we're both picking the Titans. I don't yeah, even so think we have to talk. About that. Shout out Urban Meyer, though. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Urban Meyer. Let's hop down to Miami. Man, he's, the, he's the hood hero. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, he probably was out. Hey, they they will be doing stuff out of Miami, bro. They got you got battle of Florida teams, Miami and Tampa Bay. Um, I do like Miami city wise, but I don't like them team wise. I got Tampa Bay winning this one. I think Brady is gonna just have a great year. He's not gonna lose to many teams by that spread though. I don't know. The Dolphins do know Brady pretty well though, but um, they don't even got their 
starter quarterback. Jacoby is in. I still think he's a good filler though, but um, not versus the Bucks defense and not versus Brady. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Um, Brady, they're, they're gonna they're gonna have they they're not losing two in a row. No way. I don't see the Bucks losing two in a row probably any time this season. So yeah, um, they're gonna win. Oh, like they, you, then they just they just won like versus you said, the Pats. Oh yeah, they did. I'm speaking on the side of my neck. Yeah. They're not gonna lose. Um, based off of Tom Brady's performance, wasn't as great as he wanted it to be. I'm sure yeah. he wanted it to annihilate them, so he's gonna be hungry to put up some some video game numbers. And uh, maybe Gronk comes back healthy. We'll see. So, Let's see. Uh, New England, the team that they just beat, versus the Texans. Uh, I would say New England as well. Texans is probably about to try to just get number one draft pick and probably get Spencer Rattler from Oklahoma, like the Heisman winner or something. That's their best bet, bro. That's what they're going to try to do um, and probably take the rest of the games. I definitely got New England winning this game. I agree. Um, Davis Mills has actually ranked um, pro football for focus um, like the 35th worst quarterback in the NFL. Wow. Out of yeah. 35. 32. Like, I know they can grade you however many play. He's a backup. Yeah. But, yeah. So, with that stat being said, just throwing it out there. He's um, terrible. I'm not going with the Texans. I'm going with the Patriots. Yeah. He, they, he looked very bad in his other game. So, yeah, if you better put some money on the Patriots this week. Uh, let's hop down to the Bears and Raiders. <clears throat> it's going to be a tough match for Justin Fields. <clears throat> I think he will get sacked at least three times. Um, and I do think Raiders are going to come back and not lose two in a row. They started off pretty good. I think they will continue to win. Yeah. You said you think the Bears are going to win? No, it's the Raiders. Or the Raiders. Yes, sir. Didn't, yeah. No, the Raiders, they did lose to the Chargers recently with yeah. that Monday Night Football. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't. I agree with you. I don't think that they're going to continue to lose. They're going to hop back in that win column, keep the one loss, but, you know, bounce back. The Bears, I feel bad for Justin Fields. He mm-hmm. He's in a tough division. He's in a tough conference. It's going to be a tough season. Yeah. It's always tough to be a Chicago fan, isn't yeah. it? So. He, I got the ceiling's high for him though. These definitely, who knows though? Um, I think they're gonna cover. They should cover that spread though. Plus five and a half Bears. I think it'd be a close game, but I do have Raiders winning because Raiders do start out a little slow in games, and the Bears can get a hot start. Who knows? Raiders gonna have to play from behind and probably win by a field goal. Um, Browns versus Chargers. Uh, I think this gonna be another game of a week. I think like third or second best, honestly, behind is 49 and Chargers Cardinals too. Browns. Uh, I think have a chance, but. I'm going to go Chargers. they pretty hot right now. Justin Herbert isn't going to light them up. I don't think Baker is up there. And I think Chargers defense is up there with Browns defense too. So I agree. Um, I know people saw the Instagram video of Miles Garrett tr- being triple teamed and still getting a sack looking yeah. crazy. Apparently the league drug tested him this <laughs> week after him wearing short sleeves, wow. <laughs> which is funny because his, his arms are crazy. Yeah. But um, with all that being said, Justin Justin Herbert is that guy. So yeah. Miles Garrett is cool, mm-hmm. but Justin Herbert is <laughs> he's that guy. He's that guy. He's so get it done. Um, Keenan Allen, he's going to eat. Yeah. Uh, Mike Williams, Williams, he actually had a bad game last week, so I think he's going to bounce back and do yeah. really well. Um, he's actually been their best wide receiver the bat this season. So yeah. Chargers, Chargers, I think will win that game, and they're going to continue to be, like you say, you no know, top AFC team. Yeah, um, I agree. Let's hop down to the 49ers and Cards. Uh, it just depends how Trey Lance plays, but I do think Cardinals continue to win and stay undefeated. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't care what Trey Lance does. Cardinals are <laughs> red, red, hot, like their colors, red. Mm-hmm. They're on fire. And uh, Kyler Murray is the MVP front runner right now. Who would have thought? The kid that's five seven five eight. Bro. They say he's five eleven. We'll see. But uh, man, he can play. He can run too. He definitely, he's definitely that kid. Um, they should have did something last season, but he's had he got a vengeance coming out. Um, I think one, you no, know, they got a good defense on the back end too. So that's giving them hope, keeping them alive, and they're gonna have a good year. Just 
we'll see them in the playoffs. Um, another division game right here. We're gonna watch. Uh, I do think Giant Cowboys will win this game. Giants will lose. Um, I just that's how I see. I don't see Daniel Jones pulling this one off. Giants gonna go on the hot seat. Um, probably be a top ten pick this year in the draft. You know what's funny about division games? They're always weird to pick, and always yeah, some yeah. weird stuff happens in the NFC East. Yeah. But logically, if I think Washington is way worse than Dallas, and Washington beat the Giants, I don't know how I can logically trick myself into picking the Giants and thinking Daniel Jones could do something against the Cowboys. And the Cowboys are at home. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking Trayvon Diggs is going to get another interception, and the streak goes on, and... Mm. Big D handles Daniel Jones. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hand him that L. Then Ravens, bro. Ravens been having a lot of primetime games, bro. I'm not going to lie. So Bal- they love Lamar. Yeah, they got to put him on a pedestal, man. He's coming for the MVP spot. I do think he's going to top off Carson Wentz and the Colts. Uh, and by seven, I believe. They should. It's going to be a cl- good defensive matchup, but Carson Wentz not going to make his plays. He's not making more plays than Lamar Jackson at all. I agree. Action Jackson, you know what it does.